hello guys hope you are well and doing also well today we are going to learn laplace transform laplace transform is a integral transform which is mainly used to solve differential equation of the particular types okay and at first we will see how the formula of laplace transform has come okay the, the laplace transform has come from the power series uh, of the type uh, say summation a n x to the power n n goes from 0 to infinity okay uh, if we uh, ex expand this uh, power series we will get uh, some terms containing x okay and so the summation or the sum we can write uh, in the form like a of x as there is small letter a and now we use capital letter a okay here a n is called the coefficient coefficient and x of the uh, x is a variable okay uh, coefficient of x to the power n okay so and if we expand this uh, power series we will get some terms like uh, a0 x0 a1 x1 a2 x2 dot 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 up to infinity and whose summation will be a of x okay uh, but in computer notation in computer notation or if we program uh, we, we will have to write this a n in the form function of n okay so we can write the series in the form n equals 0 to infinity a of n x to the power n equals a of x okay now the value uh, or the function of a of x has effect uh, the uh, the function a of n has effects on the function a of x okay right like if we take uh, a of n equals 1 then uh, our series becomes something like uh, summation x to the power n n goes from 0 to infinity and this becomes uh, so x to the power 0 x to the power 1 x to the power 2 plus dot dot and whose summation we will get this is a uh, infinite geometric series whose summation will be uh, 1 by 1 minus x but there is a condition the x must be x must be less than 1 or the absolute value of x must be less than 1 in order for this series to be convergent okay and if we take a n or a of n equals 1 by factorial n uh, then our series becomes uh, n equals 0 to infinity 1 by factorial n x to the power n and its expansion 1 by 0 factorial x to the power 0 1 by 1 factorial x to the power 1 1 by 2 factorial x square something like this okay this is nothing but the Maclaurin series of e to the power x okay and the most important thing is this series converges for all values of x this uh, converges for all x okay so in this way uh, we can write that summation n equals 0 to infinity a of n x to the power n equals this is the uh, earlier form okay but here the one thing uh, one important thing is that the variable n is discrete or we are taking discrete values but we need continuous values as we are taking n from 0 to 1 and the value between 0 to 1 all are gone okay all are missing so we want to include all values of n so in order for this we will replace the variable n by the variable continuous variable t like instead of writing n equals 0 1 2 dot 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 we will use uh, t 
which will be from 0 to infinity okay which will take all values between 0 to infinity okay so now replacing n by t and in that case we will have to um, use integration instead of this summation symbol and we will get something like this 0 to infinity a of t x to the power t and since it is uh, it will be dt since it is integration uh, we will have to use dt and after this our function a of x will remain the same okay but now our aim is to evaluate this integral and in in order for uh, or in order to evaluate this integral uh, this is the basic part okay people usually uh, feel discomfort to integrate or differentiate uh, keeping anything any function of x in the base form okay base form but if we uh, can replace this x by any other exponent term something like e then we will feel much comfort and it is also uh, it is also differentiable and integral uh, integrable or we, we can easily differentiate or integrate any uh, function whose base is e okay so for, in order to feel comfort uh, we can write uh, x equals e to the power ln x we can write okay and this implies x to the power t equals ln sorry e to the power ln x all to the power t okay now if we put this in the integral our integral will uh, be of the form e to the power infinity a of t e to the power ln x all to the power t dt equals a of x okay now there is a also a problem in order for this improper or something like this integral to be uh, conversion to converse uh, this quantity ln x must be negative if it is not negative the integral will diverse okay so for this uh, integral to be converse this ln x must be less than zero i mean negative and we know the value of ln x is negative only when x is between 0 to 1 okay <clears throat> so we let ln x equals minus s for x between 0 to 1 okay now we will put this in our integral okay so our integral will become 0 to infinity a of t e to the power minus s t dt equals now we can write e to the power minus s instead of x or uh, we can also write it is also a function of s so we can write a of s okay now replacing small a by f and capital a by small a by capital f and small a uh, capital a by small f we will get 0 to infinity f of t e to the power minus st dt equals f of s okay or in the normal notation e to the power in 0 to infinity e to the power minus st function of t dt equals f of s this is the basic formula of laplace transform okay and in this way the formula we get the formula of laplace transform okay so now we will define the laplace transform definition let f of t be a function 
of positive t okay then the then the <coughs> laplace transform of f of t is denoted by the script l of f of t and is defined as l of f of t equals 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt and after this integration or evaluating this integral we will get some function of s where s is called a parameter where s is a real or it can also be a complex parameter so we will write s is a real parameter okay this is the formula of laplace transform okay <clears throat> now we will uh, see some laplace transformation of elementary functions laplace transform of some elementary function elementary function like if we take uh, say for function of t equals to any constant then laplace transformation of f of t uh, this will be laplace transformation of constant it will be 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into constant dt and since it is constant it will be out of the integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st dt and it will give us e to the power minus st by minus s 0 to infinity and c by minus s e to the power negative infinity to the power 0 so from this we will get this is 0 this is 1 this is c by s okay so in this way <laughs> we will be able to find other uh, some other functions laplace transform okay now i will write all these uh, elementary functions transform in a chart say for laplace transform if the function of t here function of t and here the transformed function that is function of s okay if our function is say any constant and its trans transform function will be constant by s okay and if the function is something like t uh, our transform function will be 1 by s square and our if our function is some um, say t to the power n we will get two forms uh, depending on the value of n uh, one is factorial n by s to the power n plus 1 if n is positive integer or uh, say gamma n plus 1 by s to the power n plus 1 if n is fraction it is also have to be positive it is any fraction okay so it has two forms one and this okay i am just putting arrows okay now four for function of the form e to the power say a t and it will be 1 by s minus a and if we take e to the power minus a t it will be 1 by s plus a and 5 say sine 
at a is a constant here it will be a by s square plus a square and 6 if we take sign hyperbolic at it will be a by s square minus a square and 7 cos at it will give s by s square plus a square and 8 cos hyperbolic at it will give s by s square minus a square this 8 uh, functions element transformations uh, we will have to learn by heart in order to use them in different problems directly okay uh, there uh, here is some conditions like s must be greater than zero here s must be greater than zero something like there are some other conditions s greater than a or s greater than minus a something like uh, there is no uh, way to be s to be negative okay so there here is also s greater than zero and for this absolute s must be greater than a and it for this absolute s must be greater than a and s greater than zero okay so these are elementary functions laplace transform now we will uh, have to use some property uh, to apply laplace transform okay and that is the properties of laplace transform properties of Laplace transform okay uh, the properties are very much important or uh, you may find uh, quite a few uh, like 10 properties but we will uh, learn the most important properties the first one is it is called the first translation first translation okay its statement is if laplace transformation of f of t equals f of s then laplace transformation of e to the power a t f of t it will be f of s minus a okay and if we have the laplace transformation of any function multiplied by to the power a t and its transformation will be in in this form okay like example if we are to find e to the power twice t sine 3 t Uh, <coughs> 3t equals what sorry uh, I have to change my uh, pen because of some disturbance okay uh, here the function sine 3t it is multiplied by to the power something t so if there is if we find any function multiplied by to the power twice t then we will have to understand that they are, we will have to use uh, first transition here okay so if we compare this function with the property we will get this is a rough uh, solution f of t equals sine 3t and if we apply the laplace transform on both sides since there is f of s uh, s minus a we, uh, we will have to find f first and to find f we need uh, function of t so we comparing with this uh, property we get f of t equals sin 3t now apply laplace transformation of both side uh, it will give sin 3t and we know f of laplace transformation of t it is f of s and from sin 3t it will be 3 by s square plus 3 square or we can write 3 by s square plus 9 this is our f of s so uh, therefore we can write laplace transformation of e to the power twice t 
now instead of sin 3t we can write f of t no problem we can write sin 3t it will be f of s minus a minus a means the power of the coefficient of the power of e okay the coefficient of t the power of e okay or that uh, it means the coefficient of t that is it would be 2 okay so since the s becomes s minus 2 we will have to replace all of the s's of f of s by s minus 2 so replacing we will get 3 by s minus 2 whole square plus 9 okay so this is the answer okay so in this way we can use uh, the uh, first construction okay so in next video i will show you other properties thank you